to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be Do Life versus Fisheye from BSL Season 13 Group D Losers Bracket. First match between them. And I got to say, Fisheye is not looking like his usual sharp self. Been playing a little bit off thus far. I'm not sure if that's as a result of practice or what. This is on Heartbreak Ridge. He is starting at the 9 o'clock location as the blue Protoss 3 o'clock location. We have Do Life. I'm going to continue to call it that Marine Green Terran. Very fetching. Actually, actually, the details on this are pretty fantastic. I mean, look at that little, like... I guess it looks more pixelated as I zoom in, but I kind of like the little markings there. Anyway, I feel like the way Heartbreak Ridge plays out these days is you have Protoss where they can just proxy anything anywhere initially. And then after that, Vultures can really be a big factor on this map because of all of that high ground. If you just plant them up on that ridge, they can be very difficult. Any of these ridges, they can be difficult to contend with. And I also feel like the level 1 weapons attacks... The level two, level one uh, weapons, level two, level one armor weapons attacks. Ah, yeah, yeah. By the way, gotta say it in the background to acknowledge something. Are, are pretty strong in the mid game, especially because if you look at and this is just my feelings. We'll see if it ends up being the case. I don't want to say it definitively. It's just that's what I'm predicting as far as things go. If we see these matches play out, because you can see if you get camped out on this ridge with a big mech army, that's an easy way to knock down that third. Uh, and it is difficult. Yeah, there's this back ramp that you can walk up to as Protoss, but it just, yeah, it seems like this is a great way to just, you just lay some tanks, lay some mines. It's very difficult to punch through, and then you just wander this direction. In the meantime, we did get a gas deal from Fisheye. Barrack's going down for Dew Life, and that's going to be a boom. But I think he's opening up for a 12 Nexus, potentially, because he doesn't have any gateway behind this. This is going to slow down factories. And actually, this is a... Getting a gas deal in the middle of a 12 Nexus actually is pretty beneficial now that I think about it. He's trying to harass that. So he's posturing as though he's going for an aggressive something. Do Life, in the meantime, has pulled several SCVs to deal with this initial scouting probe. So a lot of economic delay. It looks like that SCV is going to get repaired. So that barracks going to finish. So this is Do Life. That's going to put him even further economically behind. First Marine in production. The probe explodes. Battle probes. Battle SCVs dying gloriously in battle. Do Life now noticing the situation. He cannot be happy with this. A forge planted behind this. Because he's not in the best position to go for a counterattack. If he is going to go for a counterattack, you'd have to do it because of the gas deal. It was going to delay any sort of mech timing. And honestly, what I would expect him to do off of this is maybe just get that supply depot up, but just maybe conserve some minerals and just go straight to command center. I don't even know that he needs his third marine. Because this is going to be cannons and other defensive units for quite a while. I like what Fisheye is doing, anticipating this. He's already got a probe at that natural expansion to slow that down even further. This is the Fisheye I'm used to seeing. This level of neck, this sort of clever play right here. So do, do life, yeah. Wandering out to try to go ahead and plop that command center. The Marines somewhat delayed. Now do life starting to move out with those Marines to push that probe back. But that was a lot of delayed time. So this is going down at the 3 minute 22 second mark. First cannon already warping in, and the Nexus is already finishing. So big economic jump for Fisheye in the early game. Going to saturate that. A little bit behind in the probe count. But he should be able to double produce off that Nexus. Finally a gas being grabbed for Do Life, and we'll see what he opts to do as a follow-up. The one downside to this for Fisheye, I'm almost wondering if he's going to follow it up with one gate Robo upon what he has scouted. And I kind of hope he does, because if there is a follow-up of... Factory Vulture, again, mines can be so frustrating to deal with and can provide a lot of map control. I guess the one advantage of the mines on this map is, is really you're forcing your Proto the Protoss for Protoss. Is they're just really forcing you into defensive position. If you're planning on taking a third rapidly anyway, you can take it a little bit more at a defensive stride there. You can plug that gap with pile. Anyway, Heartbreak Ridge, I know it's a frustrating map to play, but I do think it creates entertaining tactics. Barracks lifting off to do some scouting information. In a minute or two here as it slowly drifts across the map. Cybernetic score warping in double, sorry, single assimilator thus far. There is a probe in this back corner already starting to plug up this back edge just in case. Because he knows Dewlife maybe wants to try to slow him down economically. Dewlife has saturated that natural expansion. Dewlife floating a considerable amount of minerals. Looks like he is wandering out to go ahead and plop down a potential second factory. First factory, two-thirds finished. Zealot moving out, going ahead and crushing that SCV that was just trying to be lazy out there in the front. That's what you get for 
trying to play the war safe. First Dragoon being produced, range being upgraded as well. And this is where I almost want to see the, the robotics facility back in the main. We'll see if that ends up being the case. Oh, I'm really hoping. Then I'll feel super smart. But anyway, waiting for that probe to drop something. No, another gateway. Go figure. So double gateway, just in case there was... Because that is the safe play, uh, considering that Fisheye doesn't know what his opponent's up to. Second factory, plopping down. No armory as of yet. It looks like an engineering bay and an armory being plopped down for Dewlife. And Dewlife not really building a... He is grabbing a second gas. He's built a bunker to play a little bit more defensively at his natural expansion. But has not yet made any indications as far as going to secure a third. Just straight macroing things from here. He's done a pretty good job of keeping his worker count just about even. So aside from initial delays... Looks like we're going to see... There's the robotic facilities. Uh, I think that was plopped down before that third gateway. So it's going to be three gate robo... As far as mid-game play, the Dragoon harassing this barracks back might actually be able to take it. He's wandering forward, especially a complete lack of pressure. Double machine shop here from Do Life. Looks like he is getting some vultures out. So granted this... I'm almost wondering if he's going to opt for siege tanks, actually. And the double machine shop is more for siege tanks. So get mines out. Get vulture speed upgraded. But after that, just start producing a lot of siege tanks to potentially play a longer economic game and go for... A faster third, dropping a missile turret to respect the Dark Templar. The Dragoons harassing this barracks. I don't think the, the barracks is going to have to float back over the corner. Engineering Bay also floating forward. I like that the Engineering Bay is being used to scout that southern path, just in case something was either proxied there or something snuck by there. Is the barracks even going to make it? The Dragoons wailing against this. This a bit of economic damage done. Yeah, it looks like it's going to explode over the wall, so not able to get back to home base. Vulture speed and mines being upgraded, and this is at the 7 minute mark. Feels very, very late. Level 1 weapons on the way as well. And I'm wondering if Dewlife, yeah, this is again... Yeah, so now he's moving back to Siege Tanks. So I wonder if he's, yeah, just going to plop down a bunch of Siege Tanks and potentially try to get an earlier third and play a more upgrade, defensive-oriented game. Fisheye already maneuvering to go ahead and open up that mineral field and take his third as well. He's only got... This is a very light army game thus far. You've got two Dragoons on the front that are getting pushed back by these two siege tanks and vultures. I'm not sure that they're long for life. Trying to make their way back. The Dragoons able to sneak away from that mine. The vultures getting in the way, continuing to pressure this. Good split. The Dragoon might be able to get some free damage on that siege tank, but trying to wander all the way back home. There's two a handful of Dragoons that might be able to get there and save and provide some support. These mines are being, whoop, are being planted a little bit willy-nilly. Observer now sneaking in, going ahead and getting a look at the tech behind this. But yeah, this is these mines planted like this are just frustrating for Protoss to deal with. Probe wandering up. Looks like he's going to go ahead and establish his third. I like the Dragoon already planted for Fisheye at the stereotypical third for Terran. And Dulife sealing up his, his northern area just in case there was something that was going to try to filter through. So now we see, yeah, the vultures out there, not a, a bunch of them. Goliaths being produced, potentially to deal with shuttles. And we do have, what is it, four siege tanks on the front, but this isn't like a massive attack force. This is, again, more of a, a defensive posture. The vultures moving out, I think, mostly to create that scouting information. Pylon wall right there. Let's see if the dragoons filter down to the south. There are no mines in the way. Fisheye doesn't know that, though, so he's probably going to wait for an observer before he engages. Let's, might even try to get a cannon down behind this. The pylon not responding very rapidly, though, so this pylon actually might go down. Finally, a zealot. A single zealot moving forward. Yeah, to clear the mines that weren't there. And now the dragoon's starting to press forward. You can just see how mi even the threat of mines... Even the threat of mines is enough to to buy some time there. So the pylon doesn't get taken down. The nexus is going to warp in. That's going to be a much earlier third... Still sitting on two factories. Double armory. So yeah, I think this is going to be more of a lap over to... And again, I feel like Dulife is going to just try to establish a third himself. And maybe max towards 300. Try to delay a fourth from there. Both players playing very economically. The probe's doing a do -si do around the gateway initially. Before sneaking out. Double gateway behind this. Though for Fisheye. So Fisheye... And did Dulife scan it? I don't know that he did. So you do have the robotic support bay to potentially have reavers in here. I don't. I haven't seen a reaver produced anywhere. 
I don't think I missed a shuttle or a drop any place. Reaver in the shuttle currently, but this is mostly for defensive purposes. But now that three bases have been established, Fisheye looking to do a tech switch into Carrier. I think he is reading the same thing I am, which is do life potentially going for a slower, longer economic game. So he wants to, rather than going for this classic Arbiter play, do a quick switch into Carriers. And Carriers, particularly around this back area and along these ridges, and also with all of the lack of vision that can happen, they can be pretty strong on this map. The Dragoons moving forward, clearing out some of these mines. Going to make it more challenging for Do Life to move up to the north. The single Dragoon being engaged by Vultures right there, but without the Siege Tanks coming off the line, this is going to delay that third base even further, unless Do Life opens up his own back door, which doesn't look like it's going to happen. So losing a bit of map control here, the Vultures able, are able to sneak through. Looks like they're going to try to plant some other mines underneath. But right now, Fisheye just outmaneuvering Do Life all the way around. And this is a, not a gigantic, this isn't an, a game ending attack force, but this is certainly a third delaying attack force where Do Life is going to have to dedicate something to push it. And he's played just off those two factories and rather thin. Now he's planting down. I think noticing this, he's like, you know what, forget it. Let's just plant down four more factories. And I'm just going to start surging from here. And I think this is a little bit, my caster instincts say that this is a, this is more of a recovery maneuver than it was an initial plan maneuver. Level 2 weapons coming online. I don't know that he knows about the text, but he does have Goliath. Fisheye pressing this front door upon seeing the lack of counter pressure. The Siege Tanks. Siege Tech was not upgraded this entire time. Are you kidding me? Wow. So do life. Yeah, playing off this game once again. Really inconsistent all the way around. So Siege Tech being upgraded. Comps adding that front. But while this is happening, this is plenty of delay to go ahead and get that carrier fleet up and running. And already of the Zealots underneath, wondering if Zealot Leg Speed is in the works as well. I don't see if there's a Citadel of a Dune. Zealot Leg Speed just starting. And with Zealot Leg Speed and a lot of those Zealots underneath, and Do Life running at two base, potential two base pressure, there's going to be a moment where Fisheye, oof, losing his Reaver instantly upon that siege, and Fisheye. Oof, losing another Dragoon before really responding in kind. So now Do Life has enough Siege Tanks to go ahead and press forward. The Vulture's actually pinning these Dragoons in from behind, but they're going to pick off as many Siege Tanks as they can. Nice micro by Fisheye, making the best out of a potential damaging situation. Let's see, is Do Life just going to press from here? Yeah, he's just going to... Now he's pulling the trigger. He just wants to move. More reinforcements, more Siege Tanks moving. How many carriers are out? We got two carriers and two carriers only. So Do Life needs to move. Not a lot of gateway units underneath this. There are there is a lot of gateway un a lot of gateways to push that production. Shuttle there. No zealot leg speed, keep in mind, as of yet, which is gonna make it very difficult to breach this. Mind drag into vultures only. This the zealot's slow walking north, and unfortunately for Fisheye, I'm not sure he hit this. He had enough troops on the ground without that zealot leg speed. Like, zealot leg speed would have been a huge difference in this battle. And instead, the carrier is having to come off the line to defend the front. And this is going to give Do Life an opportunity to keep this army distracting those carriers and potentially get Goliaths out in the field. One Goliath moving forward. That's not going to be enough to deal with these two carriers. So the Vulture is ending around. They're going to go and reposition to the north. The carriers continue, so that's going to be four carriers now fielded. Zelt Leg Speed now online. Going to go ahead and try to clean up some of these vultures that were looking to be a threat to the south. But this is going to allow Dulife to go ahead and make a game of it, because now he's starting to filter in a lot of Goliaths. He does have that level two weapons, level one armor spike. However, he doesn't have the advantage typically on this map. Of using that high ground because the carriers are up in the air to provide that spotting information. So the carriers, they're going to have to slow play this. And do the best they can to delay this. To allow Fisheye to get a sizable enough army out to engage. Fisheye currently holding that, the spoke of this ridge. The siege tanks trying to engage. There is misfire. The zealots able to get on top of those siege tanks. The goliaths splitting their fire a bit in the midst of this. One carrier going down. Focus fire right there. The dragoons assaulting 
as well. Now the carrier's backing up. There's still two siege tanks pressing into this. And it looks like Fisheye is going to have to seed this initial spoke. That shuttle, not long for life as soon as the rest of this is cleaned up. Three carriers backing off. There should be, yeah, fourth and a fifth joining the fray soon. But some zealots need to get on the ground to help assist against these goliaths. Do life floating some resources, continuing to reinforce this. Needs to find that balance between goliaths, vultures, and everything else. Looks like he wants to go ahead and press into the third. Reinforcements streaming across. So basically, if Fisheye can muster the troops to hold this, can use the carriers to distract, he will end up winning this game. Dulife has grabbed a third. He's not mining at it yet. Some troops on the low ground. Another carrier going down. The Goliath reholding that ridge. And this is just kind of a skeleton crew. For Fisheye, trying to defend that there, is picking off the siege tanks, which is critical. That'll allow the Zealots and the other ground troops, but he's got a macro behind this. And currently, it looks like he's filling in a lot of Dragoons. Vultures starting to peek through. There are two cannons here to help to provide help provide some defense. No cannon, or sorry, two siege tanks holding the ridge. In the meantime, the Dragoons moving up. The Zealots peeling forward. And Dulife, he's got a foothold on this embankment to go ahead and assault this third, but that third still maneuvering. Fisheye bringing out the interceptors, or trying to bring out the interceptors to engage once again. Do life on the high ground. Fisheye looking to end around, running into some mines, so it looks like that is going to get spotted. Maybe potentially even to go ahead and grab a fourth. He has a probe in the midst of that. That would be a very risky play in the midst of this. The carrier, four carriers have their hands full against what looks like a full control group of Goliaths. There are ridges to deal with this. The siege tanks continuing to peel in to the third base. Another carrier down. The Dragoons pushing up into Dulife's third to swat that down. So might be able to disrupt some economy there, but not before he ends up losing his own third. So it might be a tit-for-tat situation. However... The way things look on the ground, I gotta give the advantage to do life with that overall. The Zealots having trouble. Man, I feel smart for the initial things I said in this match. The siege tanks hammering these zealots as they're trying to reinforce. Mind drags not happening. The zealots not just trying to run across and get something accomplished here. This third under assault, the probes completely eliminated at this location. In the meantime, looks like that command center has been lifted off. It is in retreat. SEVs are dying. Reinforcements coming in from do life. To try to defend at this location. So it's assaults on two fronts. Vultures and Goliaths trying to deal with the carriers there. In the meantime. Do life attack force getting cleaned up on the front. Or sorry. Fish Eyes attack force getting cleaned up on this front. So both players it looks like cleaning out their third. But losing mining time. Neither player mining currently. It's going to turn into a starvation match. Natural expansion and main mined out for both players. Currently, a slight supply lead for Do Life. He is he ha is re-engaging mining at his third, and I don't know that either player is going to feel comfortable. I take it back. Twelve o'clock location. Do Life grabbing a second base that will give him the lead overall if he can hold it. I don't know that Fisheye will feel comfortable holding this, uh, going out and establishing a base. He's pressing forward with his army, critically using some units. Yeah, he needs to attack. And slow do life down. Maybe take out a base. Another carrier going down. Goliath continuing to press that edge. And it is going to be only four carriers left in the air. For Fisheye. Now granted, if they can get into that pocket underneath, they can, they can get into this pocket down here. They can create a lot of havoc. But I don't know that there's enough at home base in the meantime to defend this third for Fisheye. And he's in not he's just not in a position to grab a fourth base and Do Life is mining a four. So the carrier's trying to do what they can in the midst of this. Picking off an engineering bay, a supply depot. Unfortunately this base has been already there's not a lot to hit at this corner. This base has mostly been evacuated of SEVs. So I don't know that this is really going to slow Do Life down. It's more of an annoyance than anything. 
And Vulture is starting to sneak into that third base. This is the critical maneuver here. If Dulife can go and disrupt this economy, this will be game. The Vultures are there. Fisheye has nothing to defend it. And I do believe that is going to be GG. So Fisheye, despite a fantastic opener, a carrier overhead to try to defend this, but Fisheye down to 13 probes. Dulife still mining off two bases. The carriers are coming back, but the third Nexus is in fact down. The carrier is trying to get some revenge damage on this siege tank, but Dulife's economy is rolling strong. 70 supply to 120. And the Vulture is still going to work at this base. I got to imagine that this is just kind of catharsis at this stage for Fisheye, killing some of these Vultures that wiped out this third. And it will be GG momentarily because he is... Yeah, it's going to take him forever just to rebuild a baseline economy. And it's kind of a cleanup operation. That's got to be frustrating because he had such a strong opening versus do life. But this is... It's kind of like, yeah, it's one of those situations where this is like trying to get in a position to negotiate for the treaty. It's like, I still got a army. It's not worth all of that, but maybe not. Look at this march of Goliaths making their way to the south. We've got more than a full control group. This looks like two control groups of Goliaths, some vultures to support. It's nothing but carriers diving to the 12 o'clock location. But what few remaining probes for Fisheye remain look like they're going to be wiped out in the midst of this. The Goliaths hunting the carriers, the carriers exposing themselves up to the 12 o'clock. Yeah, now it's kind of just like, well, might as well have some fun with the carriers, I think. And show that I still have some teeth. Trying to provide some distraction here. Another command center. Are you kidding me? Do life grabbing the upper left-hand corner. Keep your enemies close. Or your friends close and your enemies closer, I suppose. Carriers being picked out of the air. Fisheye is currently not mining, and there's GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Good match overall. That's got to be frustrating for Fisheye, especially considering how strong an opener he had. Thanks for listening, everybody.